Everybody wants to play fast. Everybody wants to be a virtuoso. Chris, how do I get fast? How do I play quick and amazing lines and arpeggios? And how do I do that? I just want to sit down and just fly. This is how you start. Right? What am I saying? Slow. You have to start slow. It's not going to come to you super fast. Sure, you can probably find something to be super fast in, in, a, in, a, in a day or so, but it's probably not going to sound great. Usually the great players sit and they do it slow and they build up speed and they build up speed. When I took classical guitar in college, I mean, I would work on pieces that would take me forever, but I would do it slow to get it by memory under my hands and my hands, it would become mechanical to where it would just start working. When I would work on solos, I craft solos and it takes time and then you kind of build it over time, the speed. And so it takes, it just, even all these years, I've been playing for a lot of years, after all these years, I still sit like starting on an F. I'll do the major scale and I'll just do this. And then I'll go to Dorian. And I'll just keep doing this, right? And then Phrygian, and so, so I'm just, I'm constantly changing, one, to get in on my fingers and just to practice, but I'm not, if you notice, I'm not going super fast. If I want to speed it up, if I want to speed it up, I can, right? And so I'll do that, and I'll just go up and down the neck. And then if I find a lick that's cool that I've never played before, I'll do that. But I usually start slow and try to make sure I figure it out and have the right notes. Because sometimes when we play too fast, we can cover up uh, what we don't know. But if you want it to sound pristine and amazing, you've got to start slow. So it doesn't sound cool, but you're going to sound cool if you start that way.